Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to September general monthly reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos, because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are needing this information just like you. And I have an announcement. I am now accepting uh, appointments for private readings. And if any of you, or I should say all of the details on that are in my September newsletter. And if you didn't receive my September newsletter, it's because I don't have your email address. And so if you would like to for me to add you to the list, then send me your email address. You can leave it in the comment section below this video, or you can send me a private email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. And also my September newsletter uh, gives an update and a little sneak preview for those of you interested in my new book that I am in the process of publishing. Okay, so Cancers. Let's go through the transiting planets. First and foremost, the new moon, excuse me, the full moon is going to be on September 10th. And that is going to be 17 degrees Pisces, 40 seven, excuse me, 41 minutes, which actually is closer to 18 degrees Pisces. And on that same day, the 10th, uh, Mercury is right now on September 1st, I'm taping, in Libra. And on the 10th, it will go retrograde. And then the last week of September, it will be retrograde back into Virgo, and it's going to be in close conjunction with Venus in Virgo as well. Okay. And then the next new moon will be September 25th, and that's going to be two degrees Libra, 49 minutes, which is also closer to three degrees Libra. We still have Saturn retrograde in Aquarius and it begins the month at 20 degrees and on the 11th it uh, retrogrades one degree to 19 degrees and stays that way the rest of the month. We also have Pluto in Capricorn still retrograde and it is 26 degrees and will remain so all month long. Last but not least, we have retrograde north node in Taurus, and it is in close conjunction with Uranus in Taurus still, and it will remain so all month long. All right, that is the updates for that cancer. So let's find out what your strongest astrological energy that is assisting you this month and like always cancer if this is not right for you this specific reading that's perfectly okay because your natal planets and the transiting planets to your natal planets are going to be different and unique each month and so you might want to check your moon your rising or your north or south nodes of the moon Okay, so for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. What? Okay. Twelfth House. Okay. The Twelfth House is subconscious, fantasies, uh, deceit, illusions is highlighted for you. Okay, so let me hmm. 
just look at that for a moment. I'm being drawn to, there's a couple in the distance. So what I'm getting is something is, is coming that was unconscious or subconscious or secreted away, or maybe you have a secret admirer, or you are admiring someone from afar and that's coming out whether you are letting that person know or someone is letting you know cancer this month they're letting that be known so communication is opening up something that you didn't know about is coming to your conscious awareness All right, so let me, oh no, let's go and see what is your strongest frequency or energy from my sacred geometry cards for you that is assisting you, cancers, right now and through this whole month of September. Okay, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. What is their strongest frequency or energy, vibration that is, whoa, assisted, wow, you have a lot of cards. Okay, I'm going to go with all those because they came out for a reason. So, one, Coherence, it's number 13. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. Okay, look at that, Cancer. You can pause this video if you feel necessary because this has sacred geometry to assist your subconscious and opening this frequency up for you so you can maximize the effectiveness for you specifically this month. Okay. And we have, oh, excuse me. You know what? I'm going to do this one first because that one shown me was shown to me first. Third eye chakra. And that's number six. And some of you cancers, you might be a number six. That might be your life path number I just got. And cancers, that is your numerology number naturally anyway, because cancer, that, that has to do with number six is, and cancer is you are the mothers and fathers of the universe. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life, supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. Okay, look at that. So this is very strong for you this month, even more so than usual because cancers, you're, you're naturally intuitive and psychic anyway but you're, you're gain, gaining an extra boost this month. Again, 12th house. So things that you weren't aware of, things which that you were in your subconscious or were um, unknown to you, whether it's something personal or something in the world or uh, about others having to do with you in some way, it's coming. You're, you're gaining this intuition. It's coming out into the open for you, into your conscious awareness from others or your intuition. Okay. 22. We have a master number. Divine masculine. The frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused, and active side allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. Okay, wow. 
and I was just drawn to the the stars or the yeah for something is is being highlighted for you something is coming into the light or you are coming into the light again something you are acknowledging you are being able to see something in your awareness that you could not see it was hidden from you before it was hidden and it's coming into the light maybe an understanding something you didn't understand clearly it's coming you will understand it clearly something is coming to the forefront for you in some way this month okay number 20 discernment and this supports your ability to view the world and the people around you from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. So that's very good as well. So whatever is coming to the fore, whatever is coming into your awareness that you did not know, you're going to be able to handle it with, oh, I just got the word dignity and with compassion and you'll know what to do and how to to deal with that information if you uh if it's if this information that's coming to you that you are becoming aware of is something that you're going to have to share or you're going to have to confront another or discuss with another you will know how to do that is what i'm getting Okay, last is number 24, and that is Earth. And what I'm getting is you're, you are uh, extra connected with the Earth. So you are, you are able to be more balanced than you have been in the past, or an extra balance, expanding that balance so that you can take care of whatever is coming out of your 12th house, whatever's coming out of secrecy for you either personally or, again, in the world, and you will know how to deal with that, is what I'm getting right off the bat with this. And some of you are getting, are, will receive healing. This, whatever's coming out, this truth that's coming out from your uh, hidden, whatever's hidden, it's, it's, this is gonna be very healing for you. And I also got too, maybe something you are going to speak is going to be very healing, not just for you, but for the other person or others. If this is something you are speaking out and letting known. Okay, the frequency, the frequency of earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so you have received the most sacred geometry cards I've ever had come out. And I have been doing these readings for two years, a little over two years. It was two years a month ago, August 1st. Okay. So do we want to... I'm going to get straight away into your tarot cards. And let's just see what comes out. So you're ha you are receiving a lot of energetic help. Hence, the five uh, sacred geometry cards coming out. So you are receiving a lot of energetic help this month with whatever you are um, doing, whatever you are undertaking, whatever this 12th house. Again, it has to do with this 12th house and and secrecy and whatever's coming out into the con your conscious awareness now that was hidden from you. Whatever's being known. Whoa, okay. Queen of Wands. Okay. Again, look at that signifying 
that dark aspect of yourself. That's our shadow selves is how I see this card and the, the Black Panther specifically. And yeah, see the Black Panther in this configuration, in this card deck, its back is turned to us, but it is It's looking to the side, and so something has its attention. And so that's what I am seeing is happening with you. And again, this 12th house, that something it ha is going to get your attention. Some type of information is going to get your attention. Something you didn't know. Something that is, is essential for you to know at this time. Or, again, it's possibly you are gaining another or other's attention with this information that you have to share now. And it's, it's very significant for at the time that you are choosing to share it is what I'm getting. It's a very powerful message is what I'm getting. And it's very enlightening, enlightening. And inspiring. Okay. I'm also getting drawn though to she has beams of light coming off of her crown chakra and okay and we have the third eye chakra I was thinking that so crown chakras also I was thinking the third chakra was the crown chakra but it's not so you have not just the third eye chakra but you have the crown chakra that is also being highlighted and uh, uh, expanded expanded or you're receiving information from your from the universe some of you Oops. and for some of you it could be specifically about earth about this world about what's going on you're receiving information from the universe about the truth or tr a truth or truths about what's going on right now on earth. And you are being called to speak it. I just call it, got drawn to, there's a little blue and I can't, I don't know if you can see that. And it's on her throat chakra. And so yes, you're being, you will be speaking it. Okay, so what else for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. You might have Leo in your chart. I was also drawn to the lion that is laying facing forward. And you're okay, what I got from that, whether you have Leo in your chart or not, this lion, and he is. He's face forward. He's, he's looking straight ahead. So you're ready to tackle this. You're ready for this information or you're ready to share this information where you weren't before. Again, it's all going back to whatever this hidden, whatever that information is that either you don't know about yet or you haven't shared yet you are going to be doing that. You are getting, you know what, here, five cards here, one, two, three, four. Okay. Five might be significant for you because five cards came out. I don't know if that, that could be the day of your birth, that could be um, your life path number I'm getting for some of you. And also four, because four cards, because I don't normally get this many cards coming out at once. So 
apparently, oh yes, a lot is coming at you or a lot is going to be coming out of you. And also I got another message. A lot is, is, um, going to be known. A lot of information is just a lot's coming at you. A lot of information is being shared with you or you're sharing a lot of information with others or another, but I'm getting the word a lot, a lot because of these cards coming out in four also, number four, and you're getting 22 is again a master number. 22 could be a special number for you. And you might want to look that master number up and you might be seeing 22s. So numbers and in the multiples, I'm just, again, so four also could be a significant number for you. You could, your life path number could be a number four. You could have your birthday on the fourth or maybe if you, yeah, you could have it either. Some of you could your sun sign could be Aries or Taurus in April. Or five, which is the month of, it's the fifth month, which would be Taurus or Gemini if you were born in the fifth month, which would be May. Okay, so let's go on now. Oh, and here's another five. A quick something's could be changing too. This information is going to change your life. It's going to transform you. It's going to something, some change is coming. It's five of pentacles. Yeah, your physical world, your physical environment, your finances, but something in this physical realm is changing for you. That's what I got with that. Okay. Six of Swords, yes, Six of Swords has everything to do with going from a stormy weather, from uncertainty or um, up and down emotions, thinking, because also Swords are the mind and the thoughts, chaotic thoughts and just happenings to peace and balance. That's where you're going. So those of you that have been uncertain, have your thoughts have been all over the place or whatever that might be. Again, this is a general reading. You are now moving into calmer waters in September. And I just got to, some of you might be able, I was drawn to this Eskimo. He is now sleeping. It look, looks like he's resting. You're going to be able to rest. You're going to be able to, to have that peace and quiet and enjoy also enjoy yourself this month. Drawn to the two whales too. And you could very well be able to enjoy yourself with another, whether you are single and, or you are already in union, it can, this could be with friends, it's family, friends, um, even romantic, whatever. But I see another with you enjoying this peace and calm and restful time and fun time. Four of Pentacles. I just getting, I'm getting balance. Again, things are balancing out with your, uh, with the physical world, with your Pentacles. Pentacles have to do with life on this earth and physical things. And so where you've been lacking, you're gaining balance in that area is what I'm getting. You're having the sun shine upon you now where you weren't, where you were lacking before and things were really hard and in that area. Not anymore, it's changing this month. We will see change. Just like the swan, the swan is now grown and beautiful 
That's what you're going to see your finances or your environment around you. Whatever that is that was lacking, physical that was lacking. Maybe it was friends. Maybe it was a partnership. Or maybe, yes, where calmness and, and being able to enjoy life and have fun, you're going to be able to do that now. Getting for some of you. Eight of Cups, yes. Look at that. You're moving away from hard times. From the, again, she's in the depths. And I see that. And the darkness, not knowing. Unseen, the 12th house. But you're coming up. She's coming up. And the dolphin, again, she's, that dolphin is right with her. And again, what I'm seeing with that is that some of you, if you have been in the depths, of course, and doing hard, heavy inner work in your depths, you are going to be um, rewarded for that now because now you've completed that whatever you've been working on in the, in the depths there, in, um, in the privacy of and diving deep within yourself, whatever that is. You're now coming up out of that. You're, you're completed. That's done. And you're coming out. And the dolphin symbolizes, to me, that's fun. And you're going to get to have fun. You're going to get to be joyful and happy. And there you go. And it's with the white dove there. This is, it's the time. The time is now for that. It's divine timing. However one sees that, it's your time. It's your time to have fun. It's your time to shine. It's your time to be the star that you are. There is a star right there and shine bright. And that rainbow, luck, fortune is coming for you. I just got as well. Cancers, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Especially five of pentacles. No more. No more. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. I'm going to get from my... No, I don't remember the name of this deck. I'm going to have to find that out because I don't remember. I apologize for that, but let's just get, this is an Oracle deck, so we'll see what other card or cards come out to give some more details about. So yeah, and maybe some of you were just generally, I just got coming out of your 12th house, your jail, your Maybe you've been confined. You've you've been having to. I'm getting the picture of the hermit card. So maybe you've had to just be locked up, basically, and and not seeing anyone and taking care of yourself, working through something, whatever that is. Again, I'm just seeing that. You're being freed from that. And some of you might have. You could have your son sign in Cancer in the 12th house. I, I just got. And that is who you are. And so literally, when... Any planets that are locked up in the 12th house, they're literally locked up and the energy is locked up. And you you have, you have need help from the outside, the 12th house, because the 12th house is your subconscious. And so maybe you've been reading or maybe a friend or maybe you've been looking on my channel or, or another astrologer's channel um, and reading stuff about yourself and um, getting to know that those specifically any planets, maybe it's not just your sun sign in your 12th house because all of that energy is locked up 
until you are consciously aware of that and you get to a certain point where then you are able to, because the energy literally must come out through the sixth house of service. It's service, health, day-to-day um, -day duties and details and being of service in some way. That's how you unlock any energies that are in the 12th house, any of us. And I know this personally because I have my son, Saturn, Chiron, Mars in the 12th house in Pisces. And then I also have my Mercury in Aries in the 12th house. So I had a lot. And if you don't already know, I'm an astrologer of 27 plus years, and I specialize in the north and south nodes of the moon, for those of you that new viewers. Okay, so let's see what for cancers, what else can we get to know here? Cards aren't coming out, are they? And I just got two, maybe some of you cancers, of course, especially being a cancer. And if you have anything in your 12th house, and I do understand this, it's a little scary to, to be able to face yourself or you have to have courage to, to even call upon someone else to assist you because that's exposure. And, and I know that is tough, but I am apparently some of you or one of you viewers, you'll know who that this is meant for. I'm being called to say this. So please, um, I, I understand. I really do understand. I'm a Pisces and I had all that stuff in my 12th house. I have plus a really tough South node in the eighth house in Scorpio with um, conjunct my Neptune and it's okay if you don't understand all of that but it's big stuff it's big stuff and so that's why it, it took me a over 20 years of um, close analyzing and it took a long time and I ran away many times too I didn't want to deal with it but finally did and I'm thankful now and again that's what my book is about it, it goes on my, my personal journey and how astrology, true ancient astrology and the nodes of the moon assisted me in becoming consciously aware of all of that, which I was scared to death to, to become consciously aware of, but I'm so glad I did. And that's why I started my channel for, for people like us that are scared. But if you have courage, if you are ready and you would like um, assistance again I would love to assist you and I now have private readings that I am ready to um, to assist you with on a personal level and so again if you don't already have my September newsletter that tells all the details about that please and you feel drawn to let me know your email address and I will send you my September newsletter. Okay. All right. I also have playlists for my past video readings of the different specific, the house placements of the nodes, the zodiac sign placements and, and different aspects, all kinds, Pluto. And if you know your natal wheel, and you feel more comfortable doing it that way, that's all right too, absolutely. Okay. But I just encourage you to do that if you don't already know cancers. Okay. Okay, that's right. Got into talking. Re relaying that message to, to one of you or some of you specifically, yes, wonders. That's beautiful. 
wonders. So I get what I'm getting with wonders is some of you are, you are, you're wondering, you're opening up your mind, you're able to open up your mind now, and you are ready to find out new things, hidden things that you, about yourself, about yourself, or about the world, but you're, you're ready to do that now, you're ready to, and that is beautiful. Again, you're ready to dive into to whatever you don't know, generally, uh, you know, about you in general, stuff that's just been generally hidden from you, you're ready to, to, to look into that and find out what that is so that you can overcome that, you can work through that, and that's beautiful. Or you can also um, uh, combine that or not combine. What's blend that into who you are because you must know that first. Per, um, you must bring that out into your conscious awareness first before you can actively, consciously make that part of who you are. You have to bring that part of you that's been hidden out into the open so that you can, you can, you can share it. You can use it whether it's a gift of yours, a psychic gift, whatever that is that's hidden, I'm getting. And I'm being drawn to that color, you know, purple, amethyst, amethyst stone. Okay. But you have a lot of hidden wonders within you, cancer, that you don't yet, you haven't tapped into. But what I am seeing is that you are ready to or you, some of this, maybe for some of you, it's just recently come up something new, a new gift of yours or something hidden that you didn't know, a creative ability of yours in some way is now coming up to the surface or just has or will this month of September. It's going to take you on a new adventure. This is an adventure. Look at that. Oh, and I was drawn to that waterfall back there and what I got from that is that's flowing water so wherever you you're where you're stagnant personally your energy stagnant it's going to start flowing again again whatever is hidden it will start flowing once you have it's opened up to you or you open it up or it comes in and whatever information is opening you up you are going to start flowing again. So, and you are going to be delighted. I was drawn to the birds and it's, it's going to allow you to be so happy and delighted. Whatever, whatever stagnation, whatever has been hidden, because whatever's hidden is stagnant. And you're going to have a new sense of adventure again. I just got two. That is beautiful. Cancers, that's beautiful. Okay, well, that's all I have for you, Cancer. Until next time, I hope this helped. Bye.